it has long been recognized that there are those among us who are much deserving of high honor, but who, by reason of the nature and direction of the service and achievement, come not to the glory of warrior or throne, yet without whom our land would not be half so blessed. Therefore was created the Order of the Laurel, to recognize those who, possessing all other skills, virtues, and attributes appropriate to members of the peerage, shall also have distinguished themselves by their outstanding achievement in the arts and sciences. And the symbol of this order is a medallion bearing a laurel wreath, for the chaplet of laurel has long been acknowledged as a mark of superior achievement. And this order ranks in precedence with the order of chivalry, the pelican, and defense. It carries with it a patent of arms. Having consulted with the order, is it your desire to increase the numbers of the order at this time? It is. Please bring forward the candidate. Without the arts and sciences, the land is bare and barren, for only they make the realm flourish. The order of the laurel is the order of the arts and sciences. Is there a member of the order of the laurel to speak for the candidate? Yes, there is. <coughs> I, Mr. Tessie Jackson, have the honor and privilege to this candidate. There are so many things to talk about that you do. And if I would list them all, I don't think we have time at this event for the next event. Let's just try it, try to say you make them and you know them. You take your knowledge and share it freely. You make the, the sagas come alive again, spread the wisdom of the ancient. As for Volva, Volva, with an angry, sitting familiar. <laughs> <coughs> you are my But while the arts and sciences enhance the realm, it must be fostered by strength and chivalry. The order of chivalry stands as primary of these attributes, but they are also required <coughs> of a member of the order of the, of the law realm. Is there a member of the order of the chivalry to speak for the candidate? There is, Your Majesties, but alas, he is not here. So I... A letter. Your Majesties, gathered royals and dear populace, I, Sir Morales Galen, send words. I met Agnes at my very first event. <coughs> We've spent many times in the kitchen together, preparing feasts and keeping merry. I was lucky enough to have her as my consort for my first time entering a crown tournament and her inspiration led us to being able to reign these lands for a while. Today I speak 
for her from the order of chivalry. As a knight, part of my duty is to protect the weak and defenseless, as the ceremony said. I interpret this as trying to create a safe space for all members of our society wherever I go. This is something that Agnes does naturally. Her ability to make people feel safe and to handle troublemakers is an inspiration to me. I have seen her handle an aggressive drunk in a tavern just by looking at him harshly <laughs> until he sat down and eventually, quietly, left. <laughs> he is also, uh, she is also always quick to teach him, whether it's period recipes, school making, tossament, or something completely different. She shares freely of her knowledge and research. And any who can find a period recipe for mac and cheese is someone to admire. <laughs> <laughs> for these reasons and more, Agnes is my peer. No matter the greatness of the artisan or the warrior, without service they remain isolated, shared not with the realm. The order of the pelican is the order of service. But a member of the Order of the Laurel must also serve the crown and the realm. Is there a member of the Order of the Pelican to speak for the candidate? Yes, there is. And she has some stuff in her skirt. <laughs> I would speak very briefly, which, as many of you know, is unusual for me. <laughs> your Majesties, Your Highnesses, all of my friends, I have one word, joy. Agnes brings joy wherever she goes. She makes us laugh, she sometimes makes us cry, but in a good way. <laughs> and wherever you go, you can see smiles that follow her. I have seen her gladden the heart of not just all the children at Cudgel who partook in an excellent treasure hunt, but all of the very happy parents who for two hours could go and leave and have fun. <laughs> so wherever she goes and whatever she does, she brings joy. And she is my peer. Mm. You are my peer and my rope, by the way. <laughs> kingdom is defended and championed by many different arts, <coughs> while the order of defense is the order of steel, swordsmanship, and uh, art of arms. A member of the order of the laurel is also a keen student and teacher of their own arts. Is there a member of the order of defense to speak for the candidate? Your Majesties, there is. I am Eirika, member of the order of defense, and I will speak for the candidate. Uh, I have quite a few stories to tell. Um, I've known this candidate for 25, 30 years. Um, most of the stories uh, I need to save for a, a late evening with lots of beer. So find me later. <laughs> but now instead, I will talk about her defending the realm, defending the kingdom, and defending the reason why we're here. When Jarkamold and the realm were in a dark place. 
most of us were suffering. She defended the dream by reminding us why we are here, that we're still here, that we have each other. So her way of defending us and the dream, the reason why we're here, is to show there is light, there is joy, all is not dark. Were we in the order of defense, might wield our weapons. She wielded something else. At that point, something far more important. There are many ways to defend the realm. She found her way when it was needed. Your Majesty, she is my peer and my friend. An artisan may be skilled. But without courtesy and honor, there are, they are no peer. The Order of the Rose speaks for courtesy and honor. Is there a member of the Order of the Rose to speak for the candidate? <laughs> Love you, darling. You are the least courteous, but most courteous person I know. Uh, you know when to step up and when to step back. Uh, and you always uh, look out for the small people and for the big people. Uh, you are the funniest, most bizarre <laughs> and uh, friendliest person I know. And you're def definitely my peer. you lovely, lovely person. Multitasking? <laughs> <laughs> Lachemald has many peers, but many more who are not peers. And their voice is mighty. Uh, to be, uh, 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 not to be ignored at the peril of all. Is there a message from the people of the realm in regard to this candidate? No, your majesty, <laughs> there is not. <laughs> because. So one single voice will not answer your call.
you and the other members of your order affirm the worthiness for this high honor, accepting them as your pay in artistic and philosophic endeavor and the other attributes of courage. Yes. 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 It is our judgment that the candidate fulfills all the requirements of peerage and entry into the oral of the laurels. Agnes, right mindful of your achievement and service to our land, and responsive to the wishes of your peers, we are minded to create your mistress of the laurel. Will you accept this honor and this badge of your achievement? Jarl Kona Agnes Odygd has time and time again provided this fine kingdom with aid, <coughs> art, and love. In service to the crown as well as crown herself, she brings to our kingdom her, won to her wonderful arts and kind heart and encourages artists new and old. She now vows to serve Drachenwald and her artists once more as a mistress of the Order of the Laurel. Given by our hand, Anastasiatatis licked in the beautiful shire of Julingran during midsummer coronation. Siegel's king, Bokatayla queen. Mm. Let the new mistress be wested that befits their new rank. From ancient times, the chaplet of the laurel has been placed on the heads of those worthy of special honor and recognition. The cloak is, is the outward sign of the laurel's new status as a peer of the realm. and Lofenheide, your rightful sovereigns, right until the end of their lawful reign and support their royal might and justice. I will. Do you wish to give the crown such counsel which is to the benefit of them and their realm and support them in upholding the laws and fulfilling their coronation oath? I will. <laughs> will you keep secret such matters as the crown wants to keep in confidence? and not divulge such secrets that could harm their realm. I will. And we in turn promise to grant you and your household all the rights and privileges of old and to protect you with the law of the realm. So say we. Member of the Order of the Laurel. Viva! Viva! 